All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the count function. All the count function does is counts the numbers of items in a list or whatever you want it to count. Uh, that's basically it. So uh, this can be extremely helpful if you want to know the number of records in a certain group, or let's say you're a teacher and the number of uh, number of students that you have uh, of the grades inputted or something like that. So this is how you use it. I've used it plenty of times and it's extremely helpful in my own use. So all you do is I've, I've named this total number so I know the total number of these values. If we want to count them, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so on and so forth. But let's make Excel do it. Let's make the big fancy calculator do it. So just press equal sign. That'll let it know that it's using a formula. And then count. Type in count and then an open parenthesis. Another way is you can just find it here, C O U, right here, count, and you can click on it. Either way works. Same exact thing will happen. So then all we have to do is highlight our values or hold on your mouse and click all the way down. And you'll see that it'll highlight C3, which is right here, to C20, which is down below. Press this sign right here and press enter. And there you go, 18. We'll count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we know it's correct. It's done the right job. Let's say we wanted to add another one. Let's say we wanted to add another set of socks. And these are worth $14. Let's just update our range. Don't worry about that little green sign in the corner. Instead of C20, we can... Uh, in here, there's a couple ways to do it. You can either delete the C20 and make it C21, and that'll highlight it all the way down to here. Or we can delete this entirely and restart our formula. Count, open parentheses, and re-highlight everything. Close parentheses, enter. And you see 19. It'll count just like that. Now what you're asking is, why aren't we counting the clothing item names rather than the dollar values? That is a different function, and we'll get to that in a different video called count A. It's, this is what it looks like equals count A, this one right here. We'll deal with that one later, but this one counts uh, values, any numerical values, dollar values, percentages, fractions, anything like that, and then also dates, which is super nice. So now let's move over to the same kind of example, but instead we have dates. Again, this is the same exact thing, equals count. Let's find it, let's click on it. Already gives us our open parentheses. And we can just highlight our values just like this. Close our parentheses, enter, 18. And there's 18 in this list. Something super simple, super easy. Let's try the count function with text. Ooh, I can't spell today. And then if you wanna this is just what I do. You can just open up that column just like that, open or close it, or really easy, double click, and it'll automatically extend to the, the largest or the maximum needed space in between. That's just a little tip, but I'll cover that in another video as well. So let's try count. Let's try to do not these values, but the text values. Enter, zero. So you will not get it with text. Well, again, we'll deal with that later. But yeah, that's how you count those values. So one other way to do it, if you would really like to, but I do not recommend, is you can click on one, press the comma, click on the next one, so on and so forth. The only time this is valuable, and this is me working off the cuff right now, so give me just a moment. I'm just gonna copy and paste this to right Great. And then we'll also add our columns as well. This is just Command C, Command V, your regular computer stuff. Nothing, nothing too crazy at all. So you're just going to type equals count as usual, and then we can grab these values and then press the comma to take our next set of values. Let's add these here. Close, and you'll see it'll count to 36. Again, this works with number values, anything like that. You'll have the same exact result. So this is the count function. Hopefully it works well for you. Have a good day.